What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I watched The Bad Guys like five times. Probably more. This movie is honestly... Okay, so I talked a lot about Turning Red, but Turning Red didn't have Mr. Wolf. And oh my god, I want to do so many things to Mr. Wolf, like... Do a that, and then... And then, after all of that, he's gonna be calling me a good boy. Aside from all the horniness, and aside from all the, uh, nod nod wink winks that they had in the movie... Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Um, better than Zootopia, I think... I think all the new furry stuff is gonna be better than Zootopia at this point. Um, it, you're, you're starting to see furries get into animation. And it's, it's really obvious. I managed to do a freeze frame where I saw Mr. Wolf and Diane Foxington do like a cute pose in front of 621. I bet you know what that means. I can't get over how cool the bad guys was. Um, the, the, so all the, all the flirtiness and ooh, ooh, Mr. Wolf is hot. You know, he is, but I think one of the best things about the movie is how unique the animation is. It never feels like a 3D movie in some sort of 3D landscape. Like, you don't... It's hard to describe the differences between a two-dimensional movie and a three-dimensional movie in the way that it's animated. Um, a lot of 3D movies feel 3D. Like, you look at it and you're like... Yeah, you know, it, it, it looks like it was a screenshot coming out of Blender, for example. Like, you, you see that almost video game look. Bad guys? They took so much from 2D animation. They, they, they took tons from 2D animation. It's incredible how... How not 3D it felt. There was, and, and, and when I was, when I was like thumbing through the, the freeze frames, they did a lot of painting over a lot of the frames to add a lot of what you see in 2D animation. Um, one, one, one of the biggest things that you'll immediately notice, if you are paying attention, is that a lot of characters are running at different frame rates. So in original classic animation, you have these things called cells, and they're just transparent, like, individual characters. And then you kind of just stack them on top of each other on this transparent paper, and then take a picture. Now, a few things about that, these cells can be animated at a different frame rate than the actual camera is filming. So if you want to do like a slow pan, but you also want to animate a character at like 12 FPS, then you actually can have a character moving more glitchy while the actual frame rate of the movie of like, you know, whatever's moving can actually still be at a constant frame rate. And it's so... It's so unique to 2D animation, it, 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 they get rid of all the smoothness of movement. And that's what you get a lot in cartoons. They'll go into very different sudden poses without a lot of in-between movements. And it's just... Watching that is so cool. I love how animated it is. It inspires me to, like, move around more in my videos. And it's just... A, It's such a well-animated movie. I think, I think the animation, pause down, is probably one of the best parts of that movie because it's just visually stunning. Now, about the movie itself. I don't want to give any spoilers because I went in it with, like, no information. Um, all you gotta know, he becomes a good boy, or, <laughs> spoiler, he tries to become a good boy, and the movie itself, the pacing is impeccable. I had to pee halfway through the movie and there wasn't a good time to do it. Every moment, every single moment, I do not feel like a single second of my time has been wasted watching that movie. It's just moment by moment, exciting, 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 or, 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 or exposition is, is even super just emotional. 
Every second of that movie is so packed full of just... <sighs> There's never a dull moment. And even in the dullest moments, it's so... It's so in your heart that you're like, I can't just look away from this either. You know, it, it never feels good to just stop the movie. Be, it's, uh, I can't get over it. Like, even in, in Zootopia, um, the sloth scene. I hate that scene. I hate that scene so much because it just, it drags. And obviously that's the point. But it just, it sucks. It takes away from the movie. You know, I feel like my time's been wasted. The characters feel like their time's been wasted. Everyone feels like their time's been wasted. It's not my favorite part of the film. And that's, that's not great. You don't want to waste your time in a movie. You know, that's, that's like the idea behind YouTube, for example, is you don't waste time doing something, you know, you don't, you don't waste time with some long joke. You do everything as it needs to be seen. Otherwise you're gonna get bored. And I just love that about the movie. That's why I've watched it a million times is because just every time it just, it's, it, it's pacing is really fast. It is really fast. You know, they go through the whole first part of the movie and it feels like a movie in and of itself. And it's only been a few minutes. And then the movie actually starts and the actual plot really starts to get a hold. The first part of the movie is just, you know, set up. And even that is exciting. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's such a, it's so worth just a good watch. And I love it. And it's so amazing. And I, I just, I, I'm like, as I'm thinking about it, like I want to move more in my videos and stuff like that. Like it's inspiring for like, as a cinema, 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 talk, cin it's inspiring from a cinematic standpoint, you know, so I can do like really epic things. And it's just really cool. Like, I can't get over how awesome it is because you don't, there's nothing dull about it. It's just, uh, I want to watch it again right now. It's so good. It's that good. Uh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Um, I can't, uh, it's not a good plot to think too hard into. Like you watch it in the moment and that's kind of a lesson to take away from it is, is stop overthinking. You know, you overthink something and it starts to ruin it. You start to overthink the plot of bad guys and you realize, this and this do not add up at all. And you're like, and, and when, when after, you know, during the movie, it's not as obvious because you're so, you know, it's, it's the next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. And the, the thread tends to line up. Everything leads to the next, but something over here doesn't work well with something over here. And it's like really weird. Like why are there only, Six animals in the entire movie, for example. Or no, seven, because there's the professor. You know, why, why are there so few animals in general? Why is it a human world? But again, that's what makes it such a great furry movie, because it's, a, it's furries in the human world. And that, that is something that is really, really, really pertinent to furry culture, is, you know, how do you feel as an animal inside a regular world? You know, and, and like the whole plot is, you know, people are judging the wolf because he's a wolf, you know? And, and, and they want to prove that they're good, good guys. And the whole... The whole thing about furries, you know, lately we're kind of being like, hey, actually, we're not this big, wholesome community that we've been trying to portray. You know, this isn't the safe for kids group. But I think that, like, I, I watched the video about DreamWorks and they're like, Disney makes movies for the child inside each of us. You know, they make movies for kids, but also the kids inside adults. DreamWorks makes movies for adults and the adult inside kids. Sounds a little effed up in a way, but at the same time, respect kids for who they are. They're not stupid. Like, let them exist. I, I would, I watched Family Guy as a kid. It didn't ruin me. Now, I made some poor choices because of it. Don't, you know, don't let Peter Griffin be your inspiration. And even myself, you know, when I watched Bad Guys, immediately after, I'm like, I want to do crime. I want to do like criminal stuff. I ended up getting pulled over for speeding. So don't do that. It's not a good idea. Uh, take, don't get inspired in the wrong way. And even the plot of the movie was like, you know, everyone can be a good guy. 
but go watch it. It's a great movie. I loved it so much. I think you will too. The animation is impeccable. Um, the story is such a fun ride. It's like a roller coaster. And I guess that's about it. So thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.